Hey everyone, welcome to the Christmas Eve service at Cedar Creek West. We're so excited that you're here tonight with us and I'm backstage live where all the action is happening and I just peeked outside and you guys look amazing all dressed up for Christmas Eve. I'm so excited. So, uh, wh what's that? We're not ready? So, you know I'm live, right? So I just did this all to get, okay, okay. So, apparently we're not quite ready yet. So, I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay, well, I thought we were ready to start, but we need to go over some ideas. All right, so it's Christmas Eve service, and we are like four minutes away from starting the service. So, uh, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. I mean, we've only had like 11 and a half months to get this together, and we have nothing. So, I need some ideas, we need some input, talk through flow, what can we pull off, what can we do? Just so you know, this is a creative process. There's no bad ideas. Everything's on the table. I need to hear what you got. So what do you got? I got a great idea. I, I say we get an airplane and we fly it into the gym and Santa Claus comes out of the airplane. Uh, we can't that's do that. That's a bad idea. Yeah, that's a horrible idea. What else we got? We got a great idea. How about we do like a live manger? We get that, you know that petting zoo that came? And we get like a cow and a sheep and like an elephant. We can't get an elephant in. I mean, there's no way we can bring an elephant into the gym. Why not? What about like a little elephant? It won't fit through the doors. Not a bad idea, but first of all, there was no elephant at the manger. It was Jesus' birthday. If he wanted an elephant, I'm sure he could have had one. Do you remember at the convocation center when we used to have church there and the elephants wouldn't fit through the door? Plus there was all like the elephant stuff on the floor. We don't want to do that in the gym. What else? What about we get all the sweet Kids Creek kids to be angels? We even have the halos. Kelly, I think that's a fantastic idea. You have the best ideas. I know. What if we bring back the Grinch? He was a hit two years ago. No. no. All right, at some point, we've got to greet each other with a high five, a handshake, or a hug. Thanks. Thanks for doing that. Oh, 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 I got a great idea. I got a great idea. Oh, wait. Stephanie, you were the theater major in college. I know you have to have some great ideas. Well, I do have this lyrical dance uh, to Mary, did you know? Okay. I think we're going to leave that one in the box for right now. Anybody else? Oh, oh, great idea, great idea. While I think these are all great ideas, we probably need to come up with a real plan because time is ticking. All right, how about if we do this? We want to keep it simple, right? This night is all about hope. It's about Jesus. We're here to celebrate the birth of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Our families are going to all be together, so we want it just to be a night where they can relax and enjoy being together. Take a deep breath, just pause, and just remember while we're here. So maybe we'll start with the room dark. Then the middle screen will have to come up. Then some lights and trees. And we're going to need some music. So what do you think? What if we have some strings? What about a guitar? And how about a bass? And we definitely need some drums. What if we had a banjo? I think that sounds perfect. 